familiar with two-dimensional polygons like this square. But what about when we move to talk about three-dimensional figures like this cube? What characteristics and traits do they have that we need to know about? Solid three-dimensional figures like this cube are called polyhedrons. Polyhedrons are made up of faces, which are our flat polygons, edges, which is where our faces meet, and vertices, others wise known as corners, which is where our edges meet. With two-dimensional polygons, we're used to measuring generally two dimensions, length and width. With three-dimensional polygons, we need to now measure three dimensions. Generally, those dimensions are going to be length, width, and height. Two types of polyhedrons we commonly use are prisms and pyramids. Prisms are polyhedrons with two congruent and parallel bases connected by rectangular lateral faces. Prisms are named by their bases followed by the word prism. This figure has two triangles that are parallel to each other. Three rectangles connect those triangles. That tells us that this is a triangular prism. Our triangles are our bases and our rectangles are our lateral faces. No matter which way we rotate it, our triangles are still gonna be considered our bases. Here we have two hexagons that are parallel to each other connected by six rectangular lateral faces. That tells us that this figure is a hexagonal prism. On a rectangular prism, all of our faces are rectangles, not just the lateral faces. We can decide which set of faces we want to be considered the bases. These two, these two, or these two. We just need to make sure we use a set of congruent and parallel rectangles. Coming back to our cube, it's a unique prism. Not only are the bases made up of squares, but its lateral faces are squares as well. When we call a figure a cube, we know that it means a specific square prism that is made up of six congruent square faces. Pyramids are another commonly used polyhedrons. Pyramids are polyhedrons with one polygon for a base and triangular lateral faces that connect at a common vertex, also called the apex. Pyramids are named by their bases followed by the word pyramid. This figure has a square for a base and it has four triangles connected to that base that meet at a common vertex. Therefore, this would be a square pyramid. This figure is made up of all triangles. Therefore, one triangle is going to be our base and our other triangles are going to be our lateral faces, making this a triangular pyramid. Even when we have a two-dimensional representation of a 3D object, we can still name it based on its bases and its lateral faces. In this first one, we can see that we have two faces that are pentagons. That tells me that those must be my bases, so we know this is going to be a pentagonal something. When we look to see what's connecting those bases, we can see that they're connected by rectangles. So we have rectangular lateral faces telling us that this is a prism. So put it together, and this figure is a pentagonal prism. On this one, we again have only one pentagon, so that tells tells us that our base is going to be a pentagonal something. When we look to see what's connected to our pentagon, we can see that it's connected by triangular lateral faces that meet at a common vertex called our apex. So that tells us this is a pyramid. So when we put it together, this figure is going to be a pentagonal pyramid.